Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be explaining to you the rain harvesting system that I installed here at my house probably about a year ago. I'll start with kind of going over uh, the tote tier and my installation method and most importantly I'm going to go over my lessons learned on this because th there's quite a few and a lot of them are things that I'm going to be going back and trying to improve upon so stick around to definitely hear that part. So let's get First going. Thing I'll talk about is the containers I use to catch my rainwater. Um, these are two IBC totes. Uh, I believe they're 250 gallons a piece. Um, they were not food grade, but the material that was in it wasn't considered a toxic or hazardous material. But anyway, I don't use these for drinking water. I use these strictly for watering my garden. Um, I did wrap the entire containers in uh, this black plastic material I got at Home Depot. Uh, the method I used to wrap them was from a YouTube channel, City Prepper, which I will link down in the description, that specific video on how to do that. It's basically like wrapping a present though, but definitely having someone else to help you was super beneficial for this. Um, I used some black Gorilla Tape to tape everything together and it's, it's held together pretty fine. And the purpose of this is to keep any green algae from growing in your water but I, I still routinely do put a little bit of bleach in each of these especially in the summer months just to keep that uh, green algae from growing in there. For the connections for my IBC totes I did something a little different. Uh, most people I know have these rotated 90 degrees and they would have the nozzles here and here and that's how they would connect them but I actually turned both of mine inward here. I connected them with this T right here and um, use some PVC cement to uh, put all these together. Obviously these two pieces right here and right here are not cemented and I'm noticing recently that I'm getting some leaking water, water here. The only reason I didn't do that was in case I did need to take these apart. Um, I'd be able to move the totes around but I gotta figure out what I can do to stop that leaking right down there without having the cement these together because that would kind of make it very difficult to take this thing apart if I ever needed to to clean these or anything like that. Then I have my two inch PVC pipe coming out to here. I have a little faucet I put on the end of this. Um, it works out pretty well um, but looking at some other video videos recently I think I'm going to take this off and put a uh, PVC valve here um, it'll be a lot easier to connect my hose straight like that instead of coming up from the bottom like this because there's not a ton of room I have here to be able to do that. So I think one of my next um, small projects on this I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take this bad boy off and put a little valve here to be able to connect on to directly from that. Um, other than that, I don't see any benefit from turning it this way to connect it. And if anyone thinks that's better, then let me know. But this has been working for me fine, other than this leak I'm having over there. But other than that, I think it works out great. So moving on to the actual collection of my rainwater, I have connected straight to my downspout. Um, this is a little rubber connection here that works really well. Uh, the rest of it is all two inch pipe, um, which enters straight down on the here, turns, then I have it going straight down on the here. This is a cloth filter fabric I'm using but it's not working out real well it it can get clogged pretty quick um, and once it does the water will stop coming down here and start going down my downspout here so I think I'm gonna put a little window screen here but more importantly I did not put a first flush system on here something I'm now regretting and something I'm going to do um, I will probably turn this 90 degrees over here somehow and do my first flush system against my house, but I highly recommend you do it. If you don't, you're gonna get a lot of buildup, um, especially if you put a filter down here on this end, but the, the, especially from the shingles, you're gonna get a lot of buildup and it's not gonna wanna filter down into your totes. So that's something I need to do and that's something I recommend you do if you're putting one together. Um, once these totes are filled up, uh, it will come up to here, come down into here, and I, just to save money, uh, I reused 
my downspout that was originally hooked up to here. So that water will go down just like it would before, except now I have my chicken run right here. And when the water was dumping out here, um, my chicken run would get a little bit of a good amount of water in it when we had a good, nice, heavy rain. So to combat that, I recently installed a drainage system in my backyard. And this ties into that. So this goes down into a four inch corrugated pipe down and it goes through here to its first drain right here. And I could use this when any asphalt sh uh, shingle uh, pieces or any kind of debris gets in there coming straight from the downspout. It makes it really easy to pop this up and be able to clean that up if I need to. And that moves in and somewhere around here, it ties into a Y and then goes down. There's another drain right there and it goes down to my street there. So this is a great way for when those totes get full to dump the water out, divert away from my backyard and it goes out to the street. If you're able, when you have your overflow, if you're able to divert your water away from your house, maybe you put a little pop-up valve a little further away, I think that would be super beneficial. So yeah, um, reuse anything you might have. Um, I don't like to buy extra stuff unnecessarily if I don't have to, uh, but in this case, I need to get a first flush system. So I will do that, install it, put it up against the house here somewhere. Um, I know on the bottom of those, I think it slowly drips out. So I might try and find a way to tie in a PVC to dump it into here instead of just having it kind of run out in my yard, which I know is not a lot, but hey, if I can just drill a hole, click it right in there and it drains out, then I think that would be super beneficial. So on to these little plastic corrugated roofs here. Um, these work out really well other than the fact that I used these twist ties, which are supposed to be UV resistant, but in the Texas summer heat, they've gotten real brittle and they have fallen apart. Um, as you can see, these were connected at one point here. So I think I'm gonna use some, some kind of galvanized wire or something to start tying these together because don't use twist ties to do it because they will come undone, especially if you live in the South here where it gets hot. And when it gets windy, this thing will flop up. So one of my next projects here is to find a way to tie these down with some kind of metal material instead of a plastic that can break apart. But while this is open, this is the top of my left IBC tote. So this isn't the main one that fills up first, which is this one. This one is the one right next to it. Um, I did put a screen up here. Uh, this is mostly... Um, when it fills up, air has somewhere to escape. I know not all caps have these nice center screw outs here. And if they don't, I think people recommend you just kind of leave these loose. But in my case, I was fortunate to have this. So I just put some old window screen. When we got new windows, I kept all the old screens and I use this for that air to be able to escape. And then on this side, um, kind of cheaply done. I drilled a hole um, and I had some extra plastic pipe here. Um, maybe it's a little too much. I could probably cut this back to even here and just tape it off. But uh, I was worried about air being able to escape from this one, especially in a high rain event when this thing might not have, be able to dump air out. Um, I wanted somewhere for air to escape. So this is where that happens. And I have been out here one time in a heavy rain and you can almost hear some of the some of the air rushing out of this thing when it's filling up. But in the end event, any event, if it does dump out of here, I have this up here. This is open. Um, I will be covering it up with some kind of window screen or something soon because uh, the other day when I popped this off to clean this filter, a bunch of crickets came out. And the only way I'm thinking they're coming in is here. And that it could be coming in from the gutter up, gutter up ahead, but I think they're coming in through down here. But like I said, this is primarily to vent air when water's moving through here. Um, necessary, I don't know, but I did it anyway. I don't want to have to come back and do it again, so I put that in. So 
yeah that's my entire system for this one so let me show y'all my other rain barrels i have for water collection here is my other rain collection system it consists of three barrels uh these two in the front and then the blue one in the back i think these are 50 or 55 gallon rain barrels but um this is the other way i collect rainwater from my garden um this one's pretty simple um it just dumps out of the gutter here straight down into here um I don't know how to do a first flush system on this, to be quite honest with you. The only thing I can think of doing is turning this and coming down with it here and then having it come back up and then here, right back into here. And then um, another one for, for overflow coming out and then dumping it out here somehow. But for now, this is what I have. But the first flush system will probably be beneficial because this barrel does fill up with a lot of shingle debris at the very bottom and I have to clean it out every so often about once a year or so um as you can tell this barrel is leaking here so I'm gonna have to take this off and and do something with it but these are all connected together um with these short hoses going to this barrel and then going to that back barrel over there again like my other IBC totes. I have screens up here just to help the air escape on there um, to help it fill up a little quicker. But these work great. I have my little hose here, but I need to fill up my watering cans for my garden. But I'm also able to hook up a little um, a little pump from Amazon onto this. So I hook up the pump straight to here with a filter on it. And then I run the hose out to my garden, and that's how I usually water my garden is with a pump. And I'll do another video, video explaining that. But yeah, this is my rain system. Have any questions or suggestions? And please leave them in the comments. Thanks.